Hello and welcome back. I um the videos I'm going to um make for you at the moment involve no editing. I am going to be leaving for England next week. Um and uh, I haven't I haven't got time to edit. I'm trying to get a few videos in before I leave. Whether or not I'll be able to do any while I'm in England, I don't know. Fingers crossed. Um, and uh, today I am showing you the new Frank Lynn Christophe uh, Traveler's Notebook. Uh, designed in uh, by Franklin Christoph and Catherine Misuk, and uh, if you don't follow Catherine on Instagram, you absolutely should. And I will link her Instagram um, below, and also Franklin Christoph. Um, I am a great lover of their fountain pens, and. Um, was very excited when Catherine uh, posted that they were coming out with this new Traveler's Notebook and um, I think since I've got this one they've come out with a pocket size as well I'm not sure if it's got elastics I think it's sort of just more like a wallet but um, this is the normal Traveler's Notebook size in the standard or some call it the narrow and they have it in this ash color and also a brown color and it's a waxed canvas so it's very um, soft and it's very light and it's very um, pliable and um, in the front pocket this is one of the Franklin Christoph pens uh, smoke and ice. They absolutely be do beautiful nibs and again I'll link them below in exactly what model of pen it is and in this waxed canvas they have a pocket in the front which you can either put your pens in at the moment I've got the Midori brass rulers in but you can see it's very soft very light just pliable because it's, it's material so it's a wax canvas. So this is how I've set it up. And uh, I've got, I've just got a dashboard in the front here. And then this is one of their notebooks. And I absolutely love that they've done the corners like this on the traveler's notebook. They've cut off the, the edge of the corner so you get a little angle. And they've also done it on the notebooks. Um, I believe the notebooks uh, can be ruled or dot grid or plain. I got mine plain. Um, I haven't tested the paper out yet, but I know it's going to be fantastic because Franklin Christoph is all about fountain pens and nibs and how the pen writes. So um, they say this is a very special paper. So I look forward to um, using this. And then I, in the back of the um, dashboard, I just have some um, of Catherine, Catherine's work. Uh, she's a super talented artist. And uh, I'll, I'll link her below. And she has an Etsy shop and she sells beautiful beautiful images and work and I just absolutely love her stuff um, and I will link her below in her shop and then I just have my Traveler's Notebook monthly calendar in here uh, just because uh, I can jot appointments down and things like that and then I have the plastic um, Traveler's notebook uh, folder zipper pocket uh, it's got the folder on this you know the two little pockets on the side and the zipper pocket here and on this I have um, washi um, this is a great way to carry a little washi if you're traveling um, just stuck to the pockets ready for use and then in these pockets I have 
a little more washi and I have um, little photographs I've already printed out of some of my images all ready to um, stick in the pages and on the other side I have some of my stickers that I sell and I like to take quite a few of these um, on my trip because it means that I can just um, pop them in the pages and if I don't feel like uh, decorating or painting that day I've still got something attractive and interesting in my journal. So I've got the stickers there ready to go. Uh, these are brass clips uh, from Amazon. These are the Traveler's Notebook brass clips. Uh, I've got another notebook here and the back of the zipper wallet pouch here. So that's how I've got it set up. I can just put my pen in here and close it up and I am all ready to go. And what I like about this is because it's the um, black canvas, it totally matches my uh, utility pouch here. This is from Peg and All. I will link it below and I'm just setting it up. I just got this. I've been wanting this for a very, very long time. And I had the perfect excuse because I'm about to travel and I'm just going to take this with me and some fountain pens and a couple of small watercolor tins and I am all set. And in here I have an eraser, uh, a sketching pencil, uh, fine eyeliners, uh, different kinds of fine liners here. I have my Escoda travel brushes here. I have two Lame pens here that I use for sketching. Um, in order to go on the plane, I uh, take out the ink. They're empty at the moment. Cartridges are in here. Um, for when I get there, I've got some water brushes here. Oh gosh, I must remember to take out the water before I fly. Uh, a glue stick. And here I have different pencils and here I have another sketching pen and two more watercolor brushes here. So that's sort of, uh, that's me all, all set. Uh, and that's really all I need to go out and about. Oh, and I have, I have all the cartridges in here, different cartridges for different pens. Um, and so that's all I need with that and my and my pens and my watercolors and then I am all set. So just going through now what to pack and uh, what to take and what not to take. It's very, very challenging to decide. So these two go absolutely beautifully together. Uh, and uh, if you don't have your pen in there, I didn't show you that it's nice, nice and compact, very thin, very light, and um, it's an absolutely beautiful book uh, and great choice for um, people who perhaps don't want to, for vegans and people who don't want um, leather products. So that's... Um, just a, a a great choice for for um if you don't want, if you, if you don't like leather i just said that i think i'm going into a late afternoon slumber uh, i think i need a cup of tea so that's what i'll go and have so you know excuse the quality because i usually edit and like i said i i'm i'm not going to at the moment I've got to do the, these videos on the fly, otherwise there won't be any videos because I'm sure as anybody who's done videos knows that it takes a very long time um, to edit and uh, add sound and do various things and cut out bits. So please excuse me if it isn't 
the best quality but I thought it was more important um, just to show you uh, this and say hello and sorry I haven't uh, been on for so long I've been missing in action it's called life and uh, I hope you're having a wonderful time journaling I hope you're enjoying all your travelers notebooks and all your wonderful supplies and uh, have fun, journal away, and lots of love. Ciao, ciao!